Hello guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that knowing that the tension in rope AC is 365 Newton, determine the resultant of three forces exerted at point C of post BC. So the tension in this rope is given which is uh, 365 Newtons and we are required to find the resultant of this tension this 500 newton force and this 200 newton force on this port uh, on this post at this particular point c so again we need to resolve uh, all these three forces into their x and y components first let me represent that uh, tension in the rope so the tension in the rope must be acting from c to a like this and the magnitude of uh, the magnitude of this tension is 365 so this is 365 newton so now i will resolve this 500 newton force so this 500 newton force the angle of this 500 newton force is given in the shape of this right angle triangle so if we consider that this 500 newton force is making some angle theta with the horizontal then it will have x component in this direction and it will have y component in this direction or we can say that the x component is like this and the y component is like this so if we are considering this particular angle then the x component is adjacent to the angle and the x component is the cos component and similarly the y component for 500 newton force is the sine component so let me write that we are considering the force of 500 newton the x component is 500 cos of theta we are considering the angle like this let me uh, show that angle as well so this is the horizontal and this 500 force is making angle theta now cos of theta can be determined by using this right angle triangle so cos of theta if we are considering this theta then we are considering this theta in this small triangle so cos of theta is the base divided by hypotenuse so the base is 24 and the hypotenuse is 25 so we will write that uh, 500 cos of theta is equal to 500 and cos of theta is 24 divided by 25 from that small right angle triangle and this will be in newtons and as we can see that uh, the x component is in the positive x so this value is the positive value so let me write a positive sign here so this is the positive x component of 500 newton force similarly the y component as we have discussed is in the in this direction it is in the positive y um, this is towards the right is always our positive x direction let me write that towards the right is our positive x and in the upper direction is our positive y so this is my positive x this is my positive y now the y component is the sine component it is acting in the positive y so we will write plus and this will be 500 sine of that theta and now this is 500 and sine of theta from this right angle triangle will be the perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so the perpendicular is 7 and the hypotenuse is 25 we will multiply this with 7 divided by 25 similarly the the next force is 200 newton and again it's the the angle of this 200 newton force is given the shape of this right angle triangle and let's say that now this 200 newton force is making some angle uh, alpha here with the axis of the post so let's let me show that that this is making angle alpha so now if if we resolve this 200 newton force so it's x the y component of this force is acting in the negative y and its x component is acting in the positive x or we can say that this is the y component and this is the x component this is parallel to the x axis this is parallel to the y axis so the x component if we are considering this angle then the x component is the sine component since it is in front of the angle and this component is adjacent to the angle so the the y component is in is the cos component and the y component is in the negative x so now I will write 200 Newton and this will be 200 sine of alpha. So let me draw. This is the Y component. This is the X component. So 200 sine of alpha and similarly the, the Y component is in the negative Y 
this is in the negative y and this is the cost component since this is adjacent to the angle so we will write that minus 200 cos of alpha and this is equal to so now um, using this triangle if you are considering this angle alpha then in this triangle we, we must use this angle alpha we must use this angle so now sine of alpha for this angle will be the perpendicular divided by the hypotenuse so now the perpendicular is we will write 200 and the perpendicular is 4 divided by 5 for this angle similarly this is equal to minus 200 and cos of alpha will be the base so this is the base this is the hypotenuse so, so this is 3 divided by 5 and now we are left with the tension in the rope that is 365 newton and let's assume that this is making uh, angle beta with the axis of the post so this is making angle beta and now the information of the of this angle is given in terms of these dimensions in terms of the height of the pole and the distance of this point a from the base of the post so now we will write that um, 365 newton and if we are considering this is beta so then this 365 uh, newton tension will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction so both the components are in the negative x and y so the x component is in the negative x and the y component is in the negative y the y component is adjacent to the angle so the y component is the cos component and the x component is the uh, sine component this is it is in front of the angle so we will write that the x component is negative 365 sine of beta and similarly the y component is also negative minus 365 and it is cos of beta since the y component is adjacent to the angle so this is the cos component so now sine of beta we we need to find sine of beta and cos of beta from this right angle triangle and so sine of beta will be the perpendicular divided by the hypotenuse so now the hypotenuse is the length of the rope so this is uh, minus 365 the perpendicular is 960 and the hypotenuse is 1460 and similarly we can say that cos of beta for from this right angle triangle cos of beta will be the base divided by hypotenuse so now this is minus 365 now the base is the height of the pole which is 1100 and the hypotenuse is the length of the pole uh, is the length of the rope which is 1460 so now the r x component of the resultant will be the sum of all the x components so we will add up all the x components so 500 into so this gives me our x equals to 400 400 newton similarly for our y we have to add up all the y components this gives me minus 255 newton remember that all these components are in newton so now we we got the our x and our y component of the resultant let's represent this uh, um, resultant on a coordinate system let's say this is our positive x this is our positive y so now the our x have 400 newton in the positive x so this is my 400 newton this is our x and our y is minus 255 so this is minus 255 this is our x and this is our y now the our x is 400 newton and our y is 255 newton in magnitude and it is acting in the negative y direction that is in the downward direction now if we are, we if we add up our x plus our y by head to tail rule we will get the resultant like this so this is our resultant now to find the resultant magnitude we can always use um, this is our our x so we can always use pythagoras theorem considering this right angle triangle 
So we can say that r square will be equal to r x square plus r y square. And if we want to find the resultant magnitude, we need to take square root on both sides of equation. So this will give us the resultant. Now the resultant is equal to r x square. So 400 square plus minus 255 square. The minus sign doesn't matter since we are taking the square. So square will make it positive. So let's find this. This is square root 400 square plus 255 square. This gives me the resultant magnitude equals to 474.37 Newton. So now the resultant magnitude is now known and from this from this vector diagram we can say that the resultant is making some angle theta with the x-axis is in the clockwise direction so we have to find that angle let's say that this angle is angle gamma so now we can find this angle gamma from this right angle triangle by applying tan, tan gamma so tan gamma is uh, perpendicular divided by the base so the perpendicular is uh, sorry this is ry this is ry and this is rx so tan gamma is ry divided by rx and gamma is equal to tan inverse now ry is 255 and rx is 400 so tan inverse 255 divided by 400 this gives me gamma angles equal to 32.52 degrees and we know that the resultant is making angle with the positive x-axis in the clockwise direction so we have to represent that so now the resultant magnitude is uh, 474.37 newton and it is making 32.52 degrees with the positive x-axis in the clockwise direction so this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics by Bear and Johnston.